What's up guys, Matt here with Chaos Art. I'm here today to continue on with my After Effects tutorials. I've kind of taken a little bit of a break, you know, the holiday season's around right now. I just had Thanksgiving, some good food, get to hang out with my family a little bit, it was a really nice time, but uh, <clears throat> now we're back to the videos, that's what's important. So uh, in this one, I'm going to be continuing continuing off of the fifth one, and obviously because this is the sixth one in line, but uh, in the last tutorial what we did is we added the text and we did the ramps on it. Uh, we did no effects to it whatsoever, but we did, on the background, previously already have it set up with the transition from red to blue. So, as you can see in our transition, it completes at 15 seconds. So what that means is that you need to zoom in and figure out where the exact center of it is. That would actually be right about... Ooh, too zoomed in. Right about there, which would be 25 frames. <clears throat> there you go, now you can see it. The 25 frame mark, uh, this is after the 14 seconds. So it's 14 seconds to 25 frames. That is the exact center of where our red and our blue particles are meshing. And we want to set that up with our text to have the transition happen right then. So now that you know where the exact center is, you can go ahead and zoom out and kind of see that a little bit better. You can see 14 seconds here, right before 15 seconds. And, uh... That's what we're going to be working with. So go back to your text composition. And you want your fire to be up first since your background does start with the fire, and uh, or at least mine does, and then it transitions to ice. So make sure you have only your fire layer uh, with the eye on so you can actually see it. Make sure your ice is off. Makes it so much easier to work with. You can actually see what you're doing. So with this, we're going to be using an effect and preset called Card Wipe. Card wipe can be found over in your effects and presets panel. Just type in card. Should be the very bottom one right here. Click that, select it, and uh, drag it over to your fire layer. You can see that it appears that it's already started to do the wipe. Um, in reality, it hasn't. It'll just stay on that frame. You can click anywhere down here and it doesn't change whatsoever. You have to set it up with keyframes to do it yourself, or for it to continue the transition. But um, <clears throat> you can do that two different ways. You can either do it completely over here with your effects and controls with the keyframes, or you can do it the easy way by going down to your layer, pressing E on your keyboard, drop down the card wipe menu, and you have all the exact same effects and presets right here, right below your effects and controls panel. So with this, we're going to be working with three different, <coughs> actually, excuse me, two different presets within this. Uh, the first one is transition completion, and the second one is back layer. Back layer is what the text will be transitioning to. Um, for this example, I'm not going to have it transitioning to anything. Um, normally, you could just do fire to ice, have it transition to the ice layer. But I want it to be none, just because we have a special gradient on our ice, and it works a lot easier this way. So, go ahead and find that... 25 mark 25 keyframe marker after your 14 seconds so we can start working with uh with keyframes just keep zooming in until you find it there's 20 25 should be about right there zoom in one more time there we go right on the 25 so this is going to be a 20 frame transition what that means is it'll be using 20 frames to complete the entire transition i'm going to start at the 20 frame mark right here I'm going to set a keyframe right here, bring this down to 0%, this is the transition completion panel, and also it, uh, it also affects your effects and controls up here, you can see it right up here, at the very top, but um, make sure that it's on 0% with a keyframe, then go over to your 15 second frame, and then bring it all the way up to 100, and you can see that your fire should disappear if you did it correctly. If not, you might have just done it backwards, go back and double check what you did. So you can see that if you kind of click along here, you can see the transition happening, it fades out to nothing. There we go, looks great. So anywhere before that fire will be up, anywhere after it, it'll be off. It's exactly what we're looking for. We're going to be doing the exact same thing to the ice layer, but inverse. So you're going to want to make sure that your back layer is on none, and your transition starts with 100, and then goes to zero. So let's go ahead and close this up. Turn off your fire layer, turn on your ice layer, go ahead and hit E on your keyboard, and then, actually, we need to put a card wipe on it. There we go. 
Then E on your keyboard, drop down your card width menu, and make sure that you are on the 20 frame mark. Oh, too zoomed in. Do do do. What am I looking for? Where's it at? There it is. Okay. So now it's on 20 frames. Once again, transition completion. Keyframe it. Put it at 100. Back layer, none. 15 frames. Transi transition completion, zero. So now, whenever your fire is fading out, or transitioning out, this is fading in. And the exact center is right here, where the E is starting, and on the E of the fire will be ending. So now if we go back, we can do a little bit of a RAM preview on this, and uh, see how it looks. Let's go ahead and bring that back a little bit. Just composition, preview, and then RAM preview. While this is rendering, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the clip and come back whenever it's done rendering. So just kind of save you guys a little bit of time. Alright guys, I'm back. And uh, now that you can see that I have a little bit of my preview, uh, <clears throat> go ahead and set up. I'm just going to go ahead and play this for you and you can see what it's going to end up looking like. There you go. It's kind of quick, and it does can take a little bit of little uh, can take a little while to RAM preview, but um, it does look really good. It's a little bit quick, but also is a transition uh, from backgrounds. Now that we already have all this set up, and um, you have your entire composition created, and everything's turned on, and everything's looking right, and everything's working okay, you can go ahead and double check all your other ones. We're going to be putting everything into the main composition. You can see that there's currently nothing here. You need to just go up to your project uh, tab up here next to effects and controls. Go ahead and drag in background. Go ahead and drag in text right above it. And now you can see that we're good. It's that simple. <clears throat> and uh, go ahead and start playing this. And you can, it's, it's very slow. I'm not doing a RAM preview on this, it's a regular preview. You can, uh, you can see that it has the fire background behind it with the fire text. And then when it decides to transition, it'll be transitioning from uh, the fire to ice with the uh, background also transitioning. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the final thing right now, guys. And uh, just let me know what you think about it. And I'm glad that you watched.